Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can format concatenated fields in a report. So what I mean is if I create a report based on this table, staff details, and if I open that to show you, I've got some salary fields there. Now, if I go to create report design, I call source, pick that up, and then come back to this, there's a field. Now, I want to concatenate. Now, to concatenate means avoiding this sort of thing. So if I just pull on titles and surname, and then I'll just delete the labels like that. So if you have these fields like they are now, basically trying to get them lined up and not taking up too much space. When I click on view to have a look at that, that's what it's going to look like. Big gap there. And then you could maybe draw it smaller, draw that smaller, but then there could be a name that's longer and that gets truncated. So it's always an issue if you just try and put fields in a report like that. So the way around that would be to concatenate it. So to do that, basically draw an AB box and get rid of the label in a minute. Oh, that's mouse too big. Get rid of the label now, actually. You start off with equals in there, and then you refer to the fields. So the fields have to be in square brackets. So the first one's titles in square brackets. So that will just come up with titles. To use concatenation, you need to use the and sign, and that will allow you to join a field to a text text string. So that's the and sign. And then the text string is inside quotes. Now this first one is just gonna be a space like that. And then I need another and sign, and I'm gonna call that a glue point. And then I want the surname field. So in square brackets, surname. Right, so now let's have a look at that, see what that looks like. So you see how, how that's nice and tight. I can get the properties to hide this box if I don't want this box there, which I wouldn't have, to be honest. If I go back into design, what I want to do also is add the salary field and the department field. So at the moment, it's got Mr. S. Saxton. And then if I do a, another glue point and then a open um, is in, I don't know why I've got this in capitals. I'll take that off. Is in, that's what I wanted to say. Then I'll do a space in the, actually the there, space at the end. Now I want another glue point and put the word department. Department is a field like so, and I'll keep having a look to see if it's working in case I've done. Now the first one is actually blank on the records. If I go and have a look at that, there's nobody in that first department, so I know about that. But there's the second one, look. Mr. Brown is in the sales. Sales what? Go back into design. So sales, and then that's going to say that sales, so I need another string, and then a type department, the word, the word department, like that. Space, close that, have a quick look. It's in the sales department, and if I come down a little bit, Mr. Smith is in the sales department, Mr. Jones is in the retail department, and so on and so on. So that works. Go back into that, design. Let's make this box a little bit smaller. It's taking out quite a bit of space up. I'll get the right symbol, that's it. And just bring this up a little bit. So I don't need all that space. And then when you have a look at that, it should be a bit tighter. It's getting there. Back into design. Um, I don't actually need these fields anymore, so I can get rid of them. And then just push this up. Now, the issue is gonna happen if I put the salary field in here. So if I put the salary field on by itself, it will just display the salary field. But if I put it in here, so let's say um, he's in the sales department, and I'll just do a with a salary of space. And now I want to do and salary. Let's have a look at that. You see that? So it's just put the number in without any formatting. So what I need to do is come back and put some format on that. If I go back into design, what you need to do is use a function called format. So I'll type format, open the brackets on the format. So it's going to format the salary field, comma, in quotes, 
then a pound sign and now I need to do some hashes and then a comma and then three more hashes then a full stop and then two zeros and then I'm going to close quotes close bracket let's see what that looks like there we go so now that's saying exactly the same as that inside a concatenated phrase so I'm using that format function to apply the format of this a pound like so so inside concatenation I get the best of both worlds and then I can just hide this box so that's all I want to talk about in this little video is how you can use the format function to display currency inside a concatenated field so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one